Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place. Terrible, how's everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be, Would You Survive the Zombie Apocalypse? So, I got this reading um, part um, from being online, doing my Instagram, okay? It was recommended by some of my, my subscribers. Um, also from Sage Magic 777 she did do about maybe two weeks ago now a reading titled what you survived the apocalypse okay my my um subscribers suggested putting the word zombie in it so i thought that was cool um go ahead guys and check me out on patreon we are doing demonology 103 we are discussing voodoo and the salem witch trials witches etc um thank you to everybody by the way who has um signed up for patreon guys we we are doing more behind the scenes things and i'm giving you guys a little more access into my life and what it's like to be a creator on youtube and everything so thank you so much um my cards came in the mail yesterday guys so these are the cochina deck they are only 27 cards i have a lot more um that I think I want to do before I put these out for sale on makingyourplayingcards.com. It was my first time using that website, so I was new to it. My daughter did the art. By the way, shout out to Sasa. She does have a channel, my daughter, Funky Monkey Tarot, guys. So check her out. She's only got like 50 subscribers right now. But um, hit me up on Patreon, guys, and check me out on TikTok. I do upload daily for tiktok i have gotten a lot of business from tiktok so i'm very very appreciative if you came over from tiktok what's up okay so um shout out to nadi too from new vision tarot guys she got me this beautiful beautiful deck um this is the isis oracle okay so i'm gonna use this for another reading i'm gonna do later on okay all right, but this these are beautiful cards. Thank you, Nadi. Check her out, please. New Vision Space Tarot 82. That's my girl, Nadi. She does really good, guys, in-depth readings. I love her past life readings, guys. She did over an hour one for me that I loved, okay? So let's get started. These were some cards that I had here from a novelty shop here in Chicago. All right, so these are just some little cards. Pile one is going to be Carnelian. Pile two is going to be Lapis Lazuli. Pile three is going to be Jade. Okay? So breathe in. Breathe out. And pick your pile. Hopefully you're only picking one pile, but you can pick as many as you want, right? Let me clear the energy. Um, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors. Archangel Metatron is also here. Um, Archangel Raphael is also here. Go ahead and please, Spirit, help me to channel messages for will my people um, survive a zombie apocalypse? And as you know, I do like to do my own cards, so I channel three different distinct messages. So we'll pick those at the end, okay? I will use the Rider Waite Tarot, the Blue Lenormand to clarify, and the Foxfire Kitsune deck, because this is a very magical, witchy deck that I love. Okay, so hopefully you picked your pile, and we are going to get started. So, Pile 1, Carnelian. If you picked Pile 1... Will you survive the zombie <laughs> apocalypse? I watch um, Doomsday Preppers, y'all. I love Doomsday Preppers. If you have never seen it, go ahead and YouTube it. Um, it's really a cool, cool show. I really love it. So definitely check that out. That's also where I got the idea for this reading at. All right, y'all, let's get started. Pile one. What kind of person are you, first of all? Would you survive a zombie apocalypse? I'm hearing somebody say no. <laughs> I might not be able to. I might be a little bit too sweet for that. Or a little bit too nice. File one. That's what I'm hearing. Um, 
I don't know though. Could you scratch somebody's eyes out? Could you scratch out the eyes of a of a of a zombie? Would you fight for your life? You know, y'all know I was in the military, right? So they teach you a lot of survival stuff, CPR, uh, lost at sea, you know, what to do. Obviously, you got to know how to swim, right? Because you're on a ship. I was on a destroyer. Um, okay, spirit, spirit's talking. Beauty of age. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Pile one, you might think you're a little too prissy is what I'm hearing. You might think you're um, a little too nice. The light. I saw this when I was shuffling too, the light. Look it. So you might be a feminine energy, you could be a masculine, but you could still have and hold feminine energy. LGBTQ non-binary is always a welcome here, y'all. Okay? Beauty of age, delight. Maybe um, also you, you would use your beauty to your advantage is what I'm hearing from spirit. So you might use your beauty to your advantage. You know, you might be a pretty little thing. I'm hearing um, Michael Jackson, pretty young thing. Yes, you might be a pretty young thing. Mm -hmm. You might be petite. You don't have to be. You could be Asian or of Asian descent. You don't have to be. You could have black hair or black features. Again, you don't have to be, but that's just what I'm picking up in the cards. You might also consider yourself um, to have an affinity to fairies. Maybe you like fairies. Okay, maybe you're also very witchy. You know, you could be a Cancer or a Pisces with the moon here. Hopefully you can see these cards all right. All right, under that we have threefold protection. Yes, yes, yes. So you might be a mermaid or again a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but you have protection. I'm hearing your guides will help you. They will help you look for things. They will help you find uh, food. They will help you find protection. If you feel like you can't survive a zombie apocalypse, you probably could. I'm going to let you know that right now. I feel like you could. Okay, pile one. Comment down below. If you pick pile one, Leave me a red heart, okay? Emoji. If you pick pile one to go with the carnelian. All right, let's see. Let's let's see this uh, card right here. So this was the star, okay? Aim high. Write down goals along with specific steps to reach them. Don't be surprised by a desire to soar in your personal life or professional life. Now is the ideal time to rise up. Others will help you shine, so think big. Let your dreams carry you higher than you imagined. Ooh, that's beautiful. I like that. So you might be a star, pile one. You might be a star, look it. I'm hearing you know how to uh, find resources. You know how to find things to help you. You know, you're resourceful. Okay, so you might be like an Aquarius. Aquariuses, y'all, can make money stretch. My mom was an Aquarius, okay? Look, she, we had no money, and she knew how to feed seven kids. And every time, Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever came around, very loving. My mom was very loving. She did not miss anything, okay? She never missed a birthday, never missed anything. So you might be an Aquarius. Don't have to be, but you could be. All right, let's do some tarot on this, and then we'll pick um, my channel message here. Would you survive the zombie apocalypse? Pile one. I think you would, honestly. I'm hearing industrious. Yeah, you might know. You might learn how to make um, a bow and arrow is what Spirit's showing me. You might learn how to make like a knife, how to sharpen, sharpen a knife. Ooh, a shank. I'm hearing a shank. <laughs> pile one. Let me find out y'all been locked up. <laughs> Let's see. Pile one. What's going on here? Would you survive the zombie apocalypse? Let's see. Let's pull three cards, Spirit, please. I'm liking the law of three lately. All right, we got here eight of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, definitely an air sign. Look, this person is tied up, but I'm hearing if you get tied up by like marauders or something like that, you would escape. You would definitely be clever enough to escape. You would strategize, okay, is what I'm hearing. You would not be stuck up in your head and just be waiting there like a danzo in distress is also what I'm hearing from spirit. Thank you, Spirit. No, you would not just be there waiting. You would you would know you how to get yourself out of this jam. Okay, and we're going to put that under Beauty of Age. Next, we got Delight. Delight, Spirit. Give me one for Delight. Ooh, this one wants to pop out. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. 
Yes, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like I said, resourceful, legacy, tradition, okay? You're going to be like, look, I know how to use my brain to my advantage. I know how to build, okay? I'm here and build an army. I'm here and use my people, help help my people, help my community, okay? So you're going to know how to how to get through this, okay? In a zombie apocalypse, yeah. Pile 2, I'm thinking you would definitely survive this. Ten of Pentacles, you will come out on top is what I'm hearing from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit saying you would definitely come out on top. I'm getting told to pick the top of the deck and the bottom of the deck. I have not seen them yet, okay? So Virgos, Virgos Taurus, and Capricorn. Again, it's a general reading. LGBTQ is always welcome on my channel, y'all. We got here Seven of Wands. Yes, defense. You would know how to defend yourself is what Spirit's telling me. You will know how to protect yourself and protect your family. Aries, Leo, Sag. That's beautiful, guys. That's beautiful energy. You would be like, hold up, back up. Back up off me. <laughs> I like that. I like that. What else we got? Bottom of the deck, three of wands. I'm hearing you wouldn't be waiting for nobody to come help you or protect you. You will know exactly what to do. That's great. Let's go ahead and get one Lenormand on this just because I want to use Lenormand. Archangel Michael, give me one, please, for Lenormin. Uh, zombie Apocalypse. Will my pile one know how to survive? Ooh, okay. Let's keep going. Give me one more on my left-hand side, Spirit. Okay, so we got the heart. Yes, yes. Very much loving like an Aquarius. You got a lot of heart. Okay, you would definitely know how to survive, okay? Um, these zombies I'm also hearing will come after your heart. They might want to eat your heart. You're going to be like, eat your heart out because, no, you ain't having it. Mm-mm. Back up off me. I'm hearing, back, 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 back up off me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a little Sean. Um, that's a little Sean song, but I'm hearing it. Okay. Pile one. I like this. I like this a lot. Let me know if this resonates, guys. Comment down below. Again, check me out on Patreon. Check me out on TikTok, okay? And on Instagram, this beautiful place, Tarot zombies let's see archangel michael left middle right which one spirit mm, i'm hearing right right okay so let's see let's be kicking up okay zombies you might get injured if you have to face a zombie apocalypse, but you will find food and shelter and make sure your loved ones are taken care of. Yes, 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 yes. Pile one. That's what's up. That is what's up. You would definitely survive a zombie apocalypse. And again, you got a lot of heart. So you definitely would survive this. I'm hearing I am legend. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in years, but all of a sudden I'm hearing I'm a legend. <laughs> I'm also hearing John Legend. Maybe your name is John or Legend. I don't know. But that was Pile 1, the star card, Carnelian. I like that. I like that energy, Pile 1. Okay, let's move on to Pile 2, Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli, would you uh, survive the zombie apocalypse? Let me go ahead and clear out the energy spirit from Pile 1. Usa, usa. Ooh, you would need to breathe. I'm hearing you might hyperventilate or something. You might get like um anxious. You might be like anxious avoiding pile two. Okay. You might like get real um what's that? Like a I'm hearing like a stroke. Okay. Or like you might um shake a lot. Yeah, you might shake a lot. Pile two. Let's see, pile two. Let's see one of these little cards. Ace of Cups. Yes, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, you might be very sensitive, but you're very, very loving. You overflow with love, okay? Someone offers you a heartfelt gift. Love spills over, so tell someone how you feel. Emotions may be a bit much for now, but remember that they are like the water. Don't dam up the feelings of this moment. Let them flow freely. Aren't these cards cute? My sister got them for me at this little novelty shop here in Chicago. Okay, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, I don't know. You know, you might be a little sensitive, Pile 2. Let's see, though. Let's see, okay? Would you survive the zombie apocalypse? Pile dose, Pile dose. Okay, guys, check me out on Patreon. Check me out on TikTok. 
LGBTQ non-binary is always welcome on my channel, whether you're a masculine or a feminine. Let's see. Pile 2, would you survive the zombie apocalypse? Give me two cards, Spirit. Three total on my left-hand side. Would Pile 2 survive? We got here. Beneath the surface. Ooh, you might go underground is what I'm hearing. Under the water. Okay, you might be one of those people that have like an underground bunker. Okay, like I said earlier, if you missed the intro... I like watching Doomsday Preppers, okay? That's kind of the inspiration for this. So maybe you would, um, either that or I'm hearing you would jump out on people, okay? You're, um, you're a surprise, okay? People don't know what they're getting with you. They might think you're soft and squishy, okay? Like a teddy bear or like a rabbit, like a furry rabbit. But dude, they may not want to play with you, pile two. Mm-hmm, beneath the surface. Something is always lying beneath the surface with you, Pile 2. I'm hearing mysterious, too. You might be a Pisces, Pile 2. That's how a Pisces are. Give me one card, Spirit, on my left-hand side. How else? Will they, Pile 2, Lapis Azuli, will they survive the zombie apocalypse? Ooh, we got here. Time to restore. Ooh, you might sleep it through. <laughs> Definitely Pisces energy, y'all. You might fall asleep. Pile 2, would you survive the zombie apocalypse? Yes, because your ass will be asleep. <laughs> Time to restore. You might be like, what? what's going on? Huh? There's, an, there's a zombie apocalypse? Um, Yeah, you might have to just call on your inner dragon to um take care of you. And you might, you might sleep this one out, Pile 2. <laughs> I'm definitely getting Pisces energy with this, Pile 2. All right, I'm getting to the bottom of the deck. Find a place to withdraw to. Look at that. Find a place to withdraw to. Yeah, you might hide it out. You might go in a bunker. Okay, you might be like, fight for what? <laughs> I'm hearing Drake, nice for what? I don't got to be nice. I don't got to be mean. I'm just going to sleep this one out. So you might survive the zombie apocalypse, pile two. I don't know. <laughs> Find a place to withdraw to. Willing entanglement. Yeah, you ain't going to be entangled. Look, you like, look. I'm, I'm a moon goddess. You're like, I'm chilling, okay? I got to use my spells and my magic to restore uh, the country, the earth, when all this stuff, spinach pops off, okay? Finish pop, spinach is popping off, okay? You're like, wait a minute. I got to, um, I'm not willing to be part of any entanglement. Definitely Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, y'all. All right, Pio Dos. Pio Dos. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do some tarot. Would Pile 2 survive the zombie apocalypse spirit? Yeah, I'm thinking you might sit this one out, Pile 2. You might be like, nah, bruh, nah, don't come over here. <laughs> you might hide in a cavern or a bunker, even a cabin, guys. You might, you might be like, nah, I'm sleeping this one out. Give me one card, spirit. Yeah, see, the hermit, Virgo, Virgo energy. You might be a Virgo. You don't have to be, but you could be, okay? Uh, yeah, you're going to go within. You're going to get enlightenment to help restore the planet, restore the earth, bring these trees and these plants back to life. I'm getting uh, drawn to my bamboo here. Okay, you might you might need to touch the trees, love on them. Yeah, I think pile two, you will survive the zombie apocalypse, but you're going to sit it out. You're not going to you're not going to stand and fight pile those. That's just my, you know, my opinion. All right, I'm getting told bottom of the deck by spirit. Ooh, we we got ace of cups again look at that y'all i can't make this up ace of cups again pisces cancer scorpio yeah y'all are very loving very giving very kind you might be my witches my healers my reiki practitioners pile two mm, my curanderas you know you're gonna be like nah i'm too loving for all this i gotta restore the world i gotta i gotta help give my cup of love when this all pop off after this all pops off next we got the devil yeah, you're going to be like, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that devil energy. You're going to be like, I'm too busy being loving. I'm too busy going within, okay? Connecting to source. All right, forget all this toxicity. Forget these zombies out here. Mm -mm, I'm hearing I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Somebody's saying in bio too, I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. All right, let me know if this resonates. We are going to take the devil card just because that is Capricorn energy. You might be a Capricorn. You don't need to be. We do have Earth here too. All right, yeah, Seven of Swords. Spirit's telling me to take it. 
Seven of Swords, you could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You're going to be a sly fox, okay? You're going to be sneaky. You're going to be like, nah, I'm going to sit this one out, y'all. Mm -hmm. You might lie. You might cheat. You might steal. But you're going to survive, pile two. Definitely, you're going to survive. All right, guys. All right, let me check my device. Let me make sure that it is recording. Yeah, see? And then it's stopped. Okay, I have frozen up there for a second. All right, guys. So let me know if you like this type of reading. I like doing stuff like this. I get tired of doing the same old, same old, lame old readings. Um, yeah, but I like this. I like this. I think pile two, you would definitely, you would sleep it out, but you would definitely survive. Pile dos. Pile tres, we got Jade. Jade. Oh, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pile two, I got to read your card. Hold on. My bad, pile two. Left or right? Spirit, left or right? I'm hearing left. Left. So we got here. You will have to watch out for marauders, people who will be stronger than you. You feel a little out of shape and you are not eating right. You know what you need to do now. Yes, what I say, pile two, yes. You're going to be like, go ahead. And if y'all don't know what marauders are, guys, marauders are people who will come and steal from you, steal your food, steal your resources, okay, if something pops off, all right? It's a gang of people. I don't know if y'all ever seen Mad Max. Um, my favorite one is the one with um, Mel Gibson and Tina Turner, the 80s one. That's my favorite. That's also the inspiration for this reading because I had a dream about it yesterday and a few nights ago too, well, a few weeks ago now. All right, so pile two. Yeah, you might have to watch out for marauders, pile two. All right, pile three. Pile tres is jade, okay? This is my pile, y'all, jade. Jade, of course, was worn by nobility, Mayans, you know, adorned themselves. A lot of people love jade. I love jade. Jade is a really great stone. It reminds me of my heart chakra, okay? So, Jade, pile three. Oh, let me clear out the energy. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, pile three, you'd be able to rest easy. You'd be able to breathe through it. Yes, pile three, you, you're you a fighter, pile three. I already know. I'm, I'm feeling warrior spirit here. Okay, six of swords. Yeah, you would, you would go to calmer waters. You would get up and leave. It would be popping off with these zombies. You would walk right through it. You'd be like, okay, what zombies? Look at You'd be in your boat. You'd be watching, of course. Look at the Six of Swords. You'd be watching, but you have your family in the boat, and you'd be rowing that mug. Like, come on, let's get let's get what we gotta get. I'm not just gonna sit here and die. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not just gonna sit here and die and take this take this stuff sitting down. No, nah, no, nah, we gotta get up. Six of Swords, Aquarius, Lima, Gemini. Things may be feeling rather unsettled, but trust that where you are going is the best place for now. Let others help you along the way. You are heading in the right direction. This journey is not without challenges. See, you would, you would definitely face these challenges, pile three. Learn to go with the flow rather than fight against it. Yes, yes, I'm a Pisces, y'all. I'm all about going with the flow. Okay, check out my, my, um, my cards, y'all. Check out my Cochina cards. I have a koi fish on it. My daughter drew it. Um... I don't know why I feel the need to tell y'all that, but okay. I thought I plugged myself in the beginning, but in case you missed the intro, okay? Koi fish. You would definitely go with the flow. Pile, pile tres. All right, pile three, spirit. Let's see. Foxfire Kitsune deck. Why would, okay, why would we got acceptance on the bottom of the deck? Why would pile three survive the zombie apocalypse okay would they i'm hearing yes because they would accept it they'd be like okay it is what it is keep in mind guys in three to five years you know everybody's getting that shot right now you don't know what's going to happen to these people i don't know <laughs> i don't know but i've been so three to five years something's gonna jump off okay spirit give me one card please archangel metatron is laughing give me one card please <laughs> What's going on? Why would Pile 3 survive the zombie apocalypse? Or would they? We got here coming of age. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Pile 3. 
you would definitely come of age, okay? If you're young right now, you would definitely stand up and fight. And I'm hearing 18, so you definitely are my soldiers. You are my military people. You are my strategists. You probably have served in the military. Where are my vets at? You probably, yes, when you came of age at 18, you were like, look, I'm getting out of my mom and pop's house, and I'm going to do the damn thing in this world, okay? So you definitely are embracing the age of Aquarius. Yes, I said Aquarius. You would definitely embrace the coming changes, the new, the new shift in the world. The zombie apocalypse pop off, you'd be ready for it. Definitely. Definitely. I'm, I'm also getting drawn to the darkness, the black. So you might be a little dark. You might be a little black. I'm, I'm hearing, guys, pile three. I'm hearing you could eat somebody if you had to. That's not for everybody. But I'm, I'm talking about like, yes, you're a beast. You would eat somebody if you had to, to survive. Ooh, ooh. Pile three, bottom of the deck. I'm getting told. Wow. Wow. Empowerment. Empowerment. Bottom of the deck. Like I said, this is my pile, y'all. Look at this is a koi fish. I told y'all. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you guys about the koi fish on the back of my cards. Look at that. Don't you love when spirit comes through, pile three? Wow. You would definitely survive. You will be empowered. You will probably go and take a bath and everything out in the lake and be like, okay, zombies where? <laughs> zombies who look at that i love when spirit does that yes yes next we got the richness within not only would you survive the zombie apocalypse but you would thrive look at all this fire look at all this fire you might also be a fire sign you don't have to be okay i'm a pisces with very little fire in my chart but look when it's time to dig deep i can definitely pull my inner my inner uh queen of wands okay the richness within you might also save like pets you might be like noah noah's ark pile three yes you're gonna be like come on come on babies i'm gonna save you not only would you survive the zombie apocalypse but you would thrive dang pile three that's beautiful i'm getting told by spirit the top of the deck the top of the deck Ooh, ooh. But this is also Foxfire, Kasuni. So, definitely fire sign. Yeah, rare knowledge. What'd I say? What'd I say? See, I was going to pick this one, but Spirit told me no to pick the top of the deck, okay? I'm actually going to pick both of them. So, definitely your fiery pile three. You would, you, like I said, you wouldn't just survive the zombie apocalypse. You would thrive in it, okay? That inner fire would come out of you, and you would save anybody, Okay? You'd be that person to like, if you have to travel down a road, that's another good movie, guys. If you've never seen The Road, that's about um, the end of the world, too. That's a great movie. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit's reminding me. You would thrive. Look at that. You might also shapeshift to survive. Look it. Because this deck is about shapeshifting, you might shapeshift. This is the reason why I bought this deck, guys. You might be Asian, have dark hair, dark features. You don't have to, but you could. Okay, but you're a fox. You're sly. Pile three. Ooh, I'm scared of you, pile three. Yes. Pile three, you're a beast. I'm hearing it. You're a beast. Ooh. Ooh. I'm also hearing werewolf. I don't know who that's for, but I'm hearing it. You might definitely be a shape shapeshifter. Okay, let's do some tarot on this, please. Archangel Michael. Comment down below, guys. Let me know. Let me know if you guys like this. I love readings like this. I'm tired of doing the same old... Who's obsessed over you? Um, do they feel about you know? I'm so sorry. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> Who's hating on you? I'm so over it. Okay, so let's do three cards, spirit. Pile three. Ooh, okay. We got here the lovers. Yes, yes, yes. You could be a Gemini. You don't have to be. You could be also a dual sign, a Pisces, a Sag. Who's the other dual sign? I forget, but definitely, definitely. Um. Oh, Sag, right? Gemini. Who's the dual sign? Virgo, right? For the air signs. Okay. Yeah, you could be any one of those. The lovers. Yeah. You will also, um, you will survive with your loved ones. Okay. Pile three. You and your mate, your twin flame, your soulmate, you will su survive the zombie apocalypse. You could be a, uh, a Gemini. Give me one more spirit, please. On my left hand side. Who else? Who will survive the zombie apocalypse? But any any um sign, guys. 
we got here look at that aquarius libra gemini yes 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 look at that you would be um you would lie you would cheat you would still you would do whatever you had to do to survive the zombie apocalypse this is just real talk okay like i said this is my pile i know look <laughs> i know i'm gonna do what i gotta do <laughs> make sure my family's straight give me one more spirit give me one more okay all right spirit telling me to take it three of cups yes three of cups you will join forces with other people. You will join your resources. You will barter. Ooh, I'm hearing barter. You will barter. So say somebody had water, you'd be like, hey, I got liquor. Okay, look, I want some water. I got, you know, let's barter. Okay, you got some toilet paper? Look, I got some gasoline. <laughs> Quien tiene gasolina? Yo tengo la <laughs> gasolina. And now I'm hearing Daddy Yankee. Gasolina. So that's your, um, that's your song pile three if you if this resonates with you pile three give me a black heart because look you would definitely survive the zombie apocalypse yes celebration you would even survive you would be drinking wherever you get when you got where you got it to go you would be drinking give me one more spirit please pisces cancer scorpio again all the signs are here lgbtq look at that two of cups what i say you will survive with your love of your life your soulmate Okay, bottom of the deck, page of cups. Yes. Not only would you survive, but you would thrive. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, punto final. I'm done. You guys, pile three, I have no doubt about it. You would definitely survive the zombie apocalypse. Okay, let's see. The last but not least card that I did. Okay, you are a beast. What I say, you're, you're a beast. You could kill a mofo with your bare hands if you needed to. A mofo better not try you, zombie or not. What'd I say? What'd I say? Y'all think I'm playing out here? I'm not playing. This is my pile, y'all. I know. I know I... Please. <laughs> I know what I would do. All right? You are a beast. You could kill a mofo with your bare hands if you need to. A mofo better not try you, zombie or not. Yes, yes, yes. Pile three, Jade. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let me pick one just for shits and giggles, right? Let me pull one of these uh, Lenormand spirit. Give me one. I'm hearing Fox. You might get the Fox card. Give me one spirit, please, on my left-hand side. Oh, the moon. Yes, the moon Pisces Cancer. What'd I say? You're going to be secretive. You're going to use your witchy magic. You're, but you're also going to be motherly and loving and caring. 32, 3 plus 2 is a 5. That might mean something to you. So numbers, spirit telling me to go over the numbers. So we got three and a two, that's also a five. So change, you would definitely adjust. You would definitely adapt and adjust to change. And then seven, and then we got six, five, six, seven. Yeah, the lovers is six of the major arcana. That's beautiful, that's beautiful guys. I hope you like this reading, I love doing it um check me out on patreon check me out on tiktok if you want a personal reading hit me up beautiful place tarot at gmail.com um you know i do all kinds of readings not these these not just these kinds i do loved ones as well past life anything okay they're 50 dollars pre-recorded or um face to face all right guys i love you thank you have a great and wonderful weekend